Good morning world, welcome back to another video. I'm on the way and I'm super excited. I'm on my way to Olympus, Greece's highest mountain. I'm gonna take you guys on an adventure. I'm gonna show you guys what I really enjoy doing when I'm traveling and that includes to meet you, meet you down in the comment section also subscribe of course if you haven't already and I can't wait okay we have about 20 minutes and the weather doesn't look that welcoming to us it's gonna be an interesting one <laughs> maybe maybe we won't see that much of the mountain if it rains Maybe it's gonna be nice, hot, warm and tidy in here for people. <laughs> Let's see, I'm open to anything. That's the way to go. You can never get disappointed if you are open and don't have too much and too big expectations. Yes, yeah, so that's the lesson of the day. <laughs> yes, but to the spot where I'm gonna pick the guys up, the girls and the guys, the company, my friends, amigo, muchacho. Okay, I'm late one hour. <laughs> Let's see the reaction. So that yeah, but I send me an order. So many of you guys who have been following me now for a long time and have been subscribed to this channel, you probably know how much I enjoy traveling, being out in nature and just absorbing and really taking life in and try to get everything out of it but at the same time i really love being fit and being healthy and taking care of my body um, but i want everything at the same time so how is that possible and everything was made possible after i discovered calisthenics or bodyweight training or you name it but basically for me it's the minimalistic approach to fitness where the only thing you need is your body weight and by that approach to fitness you are able to do all these things that you love in life because there's so much more outside of the gym and outside of just looking good and feeling good there's so much to experience and we only have now let's not forget that so what i did after realizing that a minimalistic approach to basically everything in life is what it's gonna give you clarity and true purpose so that's when i created this, my van, a mobile gym, a mobile home, a mobile studio, a mobile everything. So now I'm fully equipped wherever I go, I can take my life with me and I can always be happy because I basically take my passions with me. So one of the favorite things about my van setup is probably the gym, which also can be a chill area for a hammock or whatever you want. So that's amazing. And just the fact that I'm able to sleep in this parking lot right in the middle in the heart of Olympus is priceless money can buy that and I've said that actually many times since I started van life and I finally got done with the whole conversion that I have caught myself saying so many times how rich I feel but I'm poor at the same time like I don't have much money but man I feel wealthy <laughs> in experiences in life because I get to choose all the things that fulfills me, which is uh, hiking, nature, calisthenics, and just a nomadic and more minimalistic approach to life. So I don't worry about making money to buy the new iPhone and have all the new gadgets and a big house, etc., etc. What I care about is to have food <laughs> to survive and be able to fill up my tank so I can change places and explore more and I've already met so many interesting people that really have such a different mindset than so many people you know that are caught up in the society and the nine to five and they really show you that it's more of the reality you build yourself around the world that 
the reality you are, you are living for. So the 9 to 5 is a different reality. The van life or the more independent, uh, location independent lifestyle is again a different reality. So you choose your reality and you can basically choose your life. You just have to have the balls to go for it and take the leap of faith. And again, it's not a leap of faith. It's just about the fear of changing something that's safe to something new that you don't know. Because again, it's safe. It's just about having the capacity and the mindset to go for it. Let's get a workout, shall we? <laughs> so the idea for my workout is gonna be a push and a pull. Um, so we basically work on the muscle that's pushing and pulling at the same time. And I will get into detail after I'm done with my warm up. Since this uh, workout is a push and pull workout, um, my main focus um, and what I usually do is that I go with the heaviest uh, exercises first because afterwards I get fatigued and then I work more isolated on probably my hands, shoulders, etc. So for now I'm focused on hands and push-ups and time rider um, pull-ups to get my handstands, push-ups higher on, on reps and get to the one-arm chin-up uh, more consistently and for more reps. I've been working for my handstand push-ups. I've been using the gre grease the groove technique and the reps have got so much cleaner, so much easier. I'm gonna do a video about that soon. And if you are interested in learning all these moves that you see and even more or just get stronger, leaner and feel better in your body, I do online coaching. So you can hit me up in Instagram or shoot me a mail if you want. All the info is down in this description. Feel free to contact me if you feel for it. I would love to help you transform your body, your life in general. It's something that I'm really passionate about. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And see you around. Let's get on to the next set. <laughs> So, as you probably have noticed, my hand is in a supinated grip and that's because it's closer to the one-arm chin-up because if I were about to go do a one-arm chin-up, I would hold it like this. So, I'm training in a way that the strength I'm gaining right now, that it's more transferable to the one-arm chin-up. If I was holding like this, I would use different muscle groups. Of course, it would definitely help from nothing, but this is more optimal. These actually felt pretty great. The last one got a bit out of balance, so I got. I squeezed the intensity out by doing the pike push-ups. Feels great. Right now you're probably thinking that, yo Jonathan, but man, I'm a beginner. I have no idea where to start from. Don't worry, I got you covered because I'm gonna make a lot of videos on this channel around calisthenics. How to start from a beginner. Totally noob background. Never ever had anything to do with fitness. And of course also how to progress if you have hit plateaus everything. My plan is also to make online courses to really take you step by step and like I said before I do online coaching so feel free to find me on Instagram or shoot a mail. Everything is in the description below. I'm gonna go for three sets of 10 of these exercises and my intensity is around 60 to 7 percent so it's about getting reps in now. Exercise without ever training for a festo just by doing this this happened one day. Check it out.
come so many in-depth videos about tra uh, training and tutorials and uh, basically everything you would like to know. Uh, you can already start writing it down in the comment section so I can see what you guys are interested, interested in so I can make the videos in the future. Right now it's just a normal training session for me just to get it started, get this channel moving and hopefully you enjoy it. Yep, I'm just the weird guy flexing right in front of my van in the top of the highest mountain of Greece. I know it's weird guys but I'm, uh, I really enjoy this. I'm the weirdo, be the weirdo, don't be afraid of being the weirdo. I think this whole setup tells everything. And this whole idea shows you that, man, you don't need a gym. You basically need nothing, just knowledge. And of course, willpower to make things happen. And you will get fit, and you will get to amazing places, and you will meet a lot of people. And you will live a fulfilling life. I'm getting closer to being done with the workout and of course I'm gonna head to the waterfalls, get a cold bath and then go cook something in the van. I really would like to know what was the what was the thing that you enjoyed the most of this video? Was it the training session, the van life, the trip in the mountain, the hiking? Think of it and please let me know. So the weather is great after all, and we just arrived to the waterfalls. Some people are preparing to getting in. Yes, how does it feel? It's cold. <laughs> From 1 to 10, how bad is it? 11. <laughs> I think that says it all. So we're gonna get in in a bit, but the challenge is to not say a word when you get in. Not a sound. The baddest thing is uh, the feet. My feet are numb now. They're super numb, right? Yes. They're, get, they're red. Yes, Look yes, at the yes. difference. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good hey. time. Do you know uh, Wim Hof breathing? I heard about him. Yeah, I check don't him know out, much man. about him. I, I need to check if, it out. Yeah, if you enjoy this stuff, uh -huh. you should definitely check it, check I, I, it out. And this is good for the muscles. For sure, yeah. There are so many benefits to cold showers. Really? Yeah, yeah, cold exposure. Okay. La 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 la. Okay. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> What's your name? Guy. Guy? Guy. Jonathan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet My brother is named Jonathan. Yeah? Okay. Try to breathe. Breathe. Hold your uh, breathing steady and deep. Exactly. And try you to really. This? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've came here many times. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm yeah. from Greece. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm half Greek, half Danish. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> really? It's crazy. I think the water must be like 3 to 4 degrees. Really? But you also have to respect uh, the cold. Body. Yeah. I mean, afterwards, you get clothes on, get warm and start mm -hmm. walking. Sure. And also, you know, just feel when it's enough. Yes. Yeah. It's cold, it's, it's good, but you have to... Now, now I think it's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good decision. Oh. Whew. I think that's enough. That's pretty good. I think it's probably about two minutes. Oh. Like my feet right now, <laughs> it feels like stone. Pretty satisfied with this workout. It went pretty well. I had an amazing view and an amazing time filming this and sharing this with you. I really want to get through that for me it's not about looking good. It's about being functional, it's about feeling great and it's about being making it a lifestyle. Okay? Uh, I'm not one of those who go into a gym and try to be the biggest one and look good. 
For me, it's all about goals and it's a big philosophy, this whole lifestyle and of course the calisthenics. It's about setting a goal for yourself, working hard to get there and that's how everything works. For me, YouTube is a goal right now and some physical goals are in calisthenics and yeah, I hope uh, you... I, I'm not gonna talk more, you get what I mean. See you in the next one. See you next week, same day, same time. I really want to see you down in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Jonathan and take care. Remember, you're a craftsman. Your life is your craft, so master it.